Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here, back for another shave video. And today is a beautiful uh, sunny day, Thursday the 16th of May. And we're doing a lovely shave with um, a triple mill soap from Spain, Lea. Lea Classic. And this is a refill puck. It normally comes in a uh, wooden um, holder, which I don't have. So I just put it in an old <laughs> Tobbs container and put the sticker on the top that came off the soap. And this is a brand new puck. Hard soap. Um, I think it's 100 gram. Here we are. Yeah, 100 gram puck. So we're just going to stick that in there in the container. Then I'm going to put water, I'm going to bloom it. So I'm going to put water, hot water over the top, just over the top. Uh, and then we'll come back. I just set, it, set that soap aside. And we'll go over the other products we're using. Right, the brush we're using comes from Blue Devil, which is no longer uh, in operation. And it's a lovely wooden handle made from black sassafras wood. <laughs> I think it's called black, black hard sassafras. And in there I've got a 24mm Yaki Plissoff knot set to 54mm loft. So we'll just stick that in my little mug to get wet. And what else are we using? The razor. We're going with the Mamba 70 from Razor Rock. It's a stainless steel head. And the handle on that is not a razor rock one, it's actually a DS Cosmetic titanium uh, handle called the Roman Column. And uh, I prefer this handle to the one that came with it. Uh, it was a 100mm um, titanium handle, halo, halo handle it was. I found it was a bit too heavy. But this one's lovely. Um, I'll just weigh it. Uh, the total weight. I think it's about 60 grams. Yeah, 67 grams with the blade in it. And you might just see the blade there. There's no blade overhang. It's a beautiful razor and the blade we've got in there is an India Gillette Wilkinson blade on its second use. Um, what else are we doing? Uh, the bowl, we're just saying, our yeah, midweek bowl is the Whispers from the Woods bowl. So we'll put the pre shave on, which is going to be our TRICARE soap made in Australia. I picked up from um, Aldi, the local Aldi. It's a goat's milk soap. And it's got some glycerin in it. So it's been working well. So I'll just dip the tip of it in. I've got a two days growth. Probably just a little bit under two days. And like I said, it's a beautiful sunny day outside. I didn't walk today, I'm just having, um, resting my, my tender feet at the moment. Or well, just for a day. I normally give it a rest after a couple of days walk. Nice. 
nice. Ready to go. All right, um, I'll just leave that soak to bloom for about another 10 minutes and I'll come back and produce the lather. Okay then, we're here at the overhead cam. Now I've had the soap bloom in there for about 15 minutes now. So what I do is I'll get it and pour out the bloom water into a muck. Then hopefully I put in enough water to soak up into my syringe. Yep, just enough. There's actually about just 20 mil, as you can see. 20 mil of bloom water, ready to go. So we don't need that uh, mug anymore. Now what we do, we get my brush, which I'll give it a, a squeeze and a shake. Just a moist brush. And we'll just load it for about 20, 30 seconds. like enough there there's quite a bit there's still some moisture left in there and the brush that should be enough if not we'll go back to the puck just rinse that off my fingers and we'll get started Okay, we're back from uh, making that leather. Yeah, let's have a look at it. Oh, wonderful scent. Looks really nice. Medium, yeah, medium density leather. It's quite a, yeah, light leather. Lovely scent though, sandalwood, fresh sandalwood scent I get. So what's, uh, what's to say about it? Uh, that's, that's basically what it says, sandalwood and uh, moss, I think. All right, then, um, while we're uh, putting that ladder on, I'll leave the ingredients and, uh, or just the ingredient list there for your perusal. So I'll re-wet the face. It's well and truly dried out. I was waiting for that. An extra 10 minutes for the bloom. Alright, and let's put this on the face and see how we go. Nice, you can smell it a lot better now. Very classic sandalwood mossy scent. I believe it's got a little bit of uh, menthol in it as well. Nice 
It's creamy leather. Beautiful. Now we didn't use a lot of water. The bloom water we used 12 mil. Build that leather. I'll just put a little bit of alum as usual on my fingers because I'm playing around with the soap and the leather. But uh, this way is the uh, design of the handle is nice because you can just grip it just below the knob there, which is nice, and it sits nicely on my little pinky. So I'll just warm that up. Uh, and we'll start. Now this number 70 is a mild razor. At least I find it mild. And like I said, it's um, the 67 grams is a nice weight for me. Not too heavy. I find below 70 is really good for me. Now, I've still got a few scars from that Sunday shave. We'll try not to reopen them. One on the chinny chin chin there. You can just see a little there. And there's a couple just here. Like I said, it takes a while for my face to heal from the neck. Old skin. Again, I'm using my right hand, I'm just, <laughs> I'm going to have to put alum back on. Very nice slickness there. So it's got lanolin, glycerin, and uh, lots of other little products. It's mostly palm oil based. It's got a lot of sodium palmate and a lot of palmates in the recipe. It certainly makes a nice leather. soft scent, um, I'll call it uh, probably 4 out of 10 out of scent strength, just below medium, nice gentle scent wafting around the face, I can just feel a touch of cooling from the menthol, not a lot, as you can see, see plenty of pickiness in that leather. A little bit more alum on my fingers because I used the wrong hand again. Okay, across the grain. It's more east to west rather than across the grain. Just gotta watch myself when I get close to the nose there. There's a lot of little crevices. Also the neck, I've gotta stretch it. Try and uh, reduce the crevices.
and I'll do the other side. Like I said, I've got to stretch my uh, neck. Reduce the crevices and expose the hairs a bit more. I'm going across the grain still. layer of uh, soapy slime on the skin still beautiful it does dry out a little bit uh, so I just wet the hand the other hand silly bugger talking to myself that is Nice residual on that soap. Um, I picked mine up from uh, Connaught in UK. Although I think you can find it in a number of places in Australia. Creamy leather. It's stable. Hmm. Definitely worth a soap. Uh, soap worth trying. So against the grain, or oh, actually south to north. I said it was two days growth. It's about um, 1 2 o'clock here in the afternoon. Like I said, I didn't do my walk today, so normally I'll be walking this time of day. This time of year, I like to walk in the warmest part of the day about this time. Not a good <laughs> cold morning walker. Let's go for above the, the lip. Okay, that feels good. Just a touch there.
Yep. Just like to keep the hairs off the top of the lip. Okay, let's feel around for yeah, a little bit under the jawline as normal. A little bit on the chin. Cheeks are fine. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's just dried out a little bit at the moment, but there's plenty of soap there. So just a bit of moisture and reactivate it. That's what you find with mostly palm oil based ones. You see, once I've wet my hand, you can see plenty of slickness left over. All right, put on the jawline. Yeah. Just a very light cooling effect from the menthol. This is not a strong menthol bladed soap. So I can only just feel it. Very pleasant. So it doesn't overpower the uh, sandalwood mossy scent. Okay, under the jawline. Do a bit of buffering. much myself a J hook is when you go like uh, I can't do it on this side you go you go like that skin though from the soap. That's probably from the lanolin and the glycerin there. All right then, let's rinse it off and we'll just test it with a bit of alum. see the red marks from the damage from a Sunday shave. Like I said, they'll take a while to heal. Look at that lovely lather left over. It's been very stable. A lot of lather there from just a 30 second load. Although I did bloom it. Very nice. Very slick. So I'll put this on my face, go and have my shower, come back with the post shave. Okay, we're back from the shower and it's a wonderful shave. Not BBS, but a damn fine shave. Beautiful. No weepers, creepers or anything else. Didn't reopen those nicks. So, wonderful shave. So let's get into the post shave. We're starting off with Jinnah. 
uh, aloe vera gel with witch hazel and vitamin E. Just one squirt. Like I said before, it smells greenish. It smells like aloe vera. More than anything else, a bit of wood. Okay, and we're putting on a bit of emu oil moisturizing cream. Not a lot. So, doubling up on the moisturizers, you could say. In your oil soaks in pretty quick. It shouldn't taste soaking, but it moist, moistens pretty quickly. Get across the, the top of the head. Alright, and the splash we're going with. Sandalwood from Parasso or Parasso Red if you are uh, not sure. It's got a small restrictor so I can just splash it out. Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful sandalwood. Okay. That's my show for today. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll catch you on my next one. Cheers.